Hey guys, Old School Gearhead here. I'm out in the shop today. It's a really warm day. I decided since it was so warm I was going to go ahead and pull the DeWalt heater out of the corner and make a quick video for the guys that have been asking for an update video about it. It's working out really good. I have no complaints about it. A lot of guys have asked, well how is it on fuel? Well I can't really answer that question. It really depends on the size of your shop um, and the insulation value in your shop. But for me, I'm on my third tank of gas since the first video. And that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy about that. So I did make one modification to it. I added this to it. It's an echo fan. I had it left over from the previous wood burner. And basically it's intended to sit just on top of a wood burner. And it's essentially a thermoelectric fan. It converts heat to electricity. And then it rotates this fan on the front here. Um, I just bolted it right to the chassis there. You can see that. It's working out really good. And when this thing gets nice and hot, it has a nice hot breeze blowing off the front of it. And then one other thing is, because this is a radiant heater, it's essentially an object heater. So what it's doing is it's heating objects up in the room and then transferring that heat to the atmosphere. So because I tuck it back in the corner, I was bored one weekend and I came up with this crazy contraption here. I don't know what the proper name for this would be if there is even one, but I just call it a heat obelisk. That's what I came up with when people go, what the hell is that in the corner? Well, anyways, what it is is down on the bottom there, that's just a galvanized steel beer bucket that I flipped upside down just to give it a bigger footprint. It's got about a 14 inch footprint now. And then I shoved this piece of 8 inch black pipe in it just from a wood stove that I had laying around. And then this is an 8 inch T. Shoved down into that. And then it's reduced to 6 inches. And then I put a 6 inch inline blower in. And then a 90 and I swooped it right down towards the heater. Now when I have it tucked back in the corner this is about how far they are apart, about 18 inches apart. And it gets this thing super hot. Um, this body of this thing will get super hot. And then let me show you what I did inside to it. Um, inside here, well, you can see that blower back there. But then inside here, I put a piece of inch and a half black pipe or ABS and I ran it right down into that bucket. And then I filled all around it with sand to even trap more heat. And when that DeWalt heater gets this thing really hot, it heats up that sand, it heats up that base, and the heat just starts flowing out of this black pipe like crazy. And I get a really nice hot breeze coming out of the front of this thing. So it worked out really well. I'm really pleased with that. So that's my quick update video. Hey guys, take two seconds to subscribe to my channel. I got a lot more cool videos coming of the V8HHR. Also, I have three custom gauge pots that I fabbed up for the V8HHR. And I'm going to ask you guys to vote for which one you want to see me use. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a giveaway on the other two. Um, when I get a certain number of subscribers, I'm going to give the other two gauge pods away. So take two seconds now to subscribe and be ahead of the game. All right, guys, thanks for watching and have a great evening.